Hey guys, so I'm out of breath. I just, I saw this self-defense thing on Instagram and I, it didn't look feasible. Like it was one of those where like, you could tell in a perfect world, if you were being attacked slowly, it would work. And so I was like, Sam, attack me. And so I like made him like kind of mimic it and it didn't work. So I'm out of breath. <laughs> I just saw it and I was like, like self-defense is very important and something I've always kind of like thought about, but I've never like taken a self-defense class. And this guy like teaches self-defense classes. I was cool. Clip popped up on Insta and I was like, I can do that. And it didn't work. Um, but hello. So it is right now Friday, May 8th. Wow, I look great. Um, we are in our hotel room. We are, I'm gonna be honest. So this goes up after we're already back. We're staying at, what's it called? Marriott Town Suite? Town Suite. Or in Rock Hill, South Carolina, it is nasty. Like there's like a stain on our lamp and like things are just gross. Like it has a full kitchen area and like you, when you get here, all of the dishes are in the dishwasher to like show like, and it shows that like they've just finished a cleaning cycle. There's like mildew in it. So yeah, it's like very gross. But the only reason why we're not leaving is because this is a dog friendly hotel. My parents have their dog with them. Honestly, we could leave, but there's like so much going on that we're just not going to. Um, it's gross. I would not. Zero out of 10. I would not recommend it. But I wanted to show you guys. So if you follow me on Insta, you've seen these flowers. So I way thought I over ordered flowers, but they actually ended up being like the right amount. So they're kind of big, but I get now why flowers are so expensive. So I spent about $120, $130, I think, on all of these flowers that you're looking at, not including the vases and stuff. So they came in and they are so beautiful. This is one arrangement right here. It's like a square six by six face. I mean, it's humongous but we tried to do the bouquets a little bit smaller and if we would have had these in maybe like a four by four we totally would have been able to achieve that but with this big six by six i think it took like one two three four five six seven eight eight hydrangeas for the square ones and then this one only took one two three four five this one took five flowers and we got 21 i ordered 20 but we got 21 and then we also ordered or i ordered 50 pink roses and they're beautiful. They are supposed to be like in perfect bloom tomorrow. And that's kind of my goal. Like I ordered them so that they would be at peak bloom like tomorrow during the wedding. Because Kayla's going to use these during the wedding too. Um, so these were the extras we had left over. And if they don't like fully open and we can't find a place for them, we're going to use them as petals. But see that one right there is kind of starting to open. So they are really, really gorgeous. I mean just like the prettiest bouquets. Like so happy with how they turned out. But... Um, yeah, I'm like really out of breath because I told Sam he was like, he was being really loose and light on me and it like kind of sort of worked. And then I was like, no, like actually attack me. And then it didn't work. So I need to start getting ready. Let me show you guys my dress. So pretty. My hair is bad. I need to do it. So, okay. This is where I have everything hung up and again like I'll show you everything now because we are so close So I actually brought two bridesmaids dresses. So I told you guys I was gonna wear this one originally But one of Kayla's bridesmaids just like completely dropped out for a ridiculous reason like one month ago And I just brought it for the sheer purpose of like I don't know if they made up and she's gonna be in the wedding I know now that they're not but I wanted to have this just in case but this is actually the dress that I'm wearing. Hold on. So I got it from David's Bridal. I need to steam it today. That's actually something I'm about to start doing with all of our stuff. It is so pretty. It has a slit right here. But when I went to get it altered, the lady told me now a lot of dresses are having adjustable straps. So I only had to get like part of it taken in right here. So it was like cheap and quick. I can wear a strapless bra with it, which is so amazing because it like zips up. But I mean, it's really pretty. Um... So that's the dress I'm wearing tomorrow. It is the most gorgeous color. And then that Sam suit. This is the dress I'm wearing for the rehearsal dinner tonight. It's from Red Dress Boutique. I don't know if it's still in stock, but it has this little tie around it. God, I'm so out of breath. That was ridiculous. I'm like embarrassed. And then this. So this dress is what I'm wearing. It looks like very childlike, but 
it's really, really pretty on. Um, I need to steam this too. That's what I'm wearing at the bridal luncheon. And then this is for tomorrow. Book is tomorrow. Probably when you are watching this is Mother's Day and we are doing a brunch. Need to get steaming, need to get ready. I think that a lot of this hotel's like grossness comes from the fact that it's so old because this hotel is, to say it is dated is an understatement of the year and that's kind of my assumption. It's like, I think it's just like, cause it's like not dirty, like the floors are mopped. You can tell that it, the room itself has been cleaned. Like you can tell that the sheets are cleaned. You can tell the surfaces have been wiped down. Things that have clearly been here well beyond their lifespan. Um, so. I gotta get ready. Um, I might vlog, I don't know. I guess we will talk to you guys in a little while. Hey guys, so I am back at the room now. I did not vlog a single bit of the bridal luncheon, but so we got there, everyone was so extremely nice, but when we got there, I was like, they told us that we could have the patio and the patio is packed. And I worked in the service industry. I worked as a server, I worked as a bartender. So you best believe the last person who's gonna go in there and get an attitude with any server is gonna be me, especially during COVID. So we walked in and it was actually kind of cold today. So it actually ended up working in our favor and you could see it in their face. I was like, they said, oh yeah, 12 o'clock or 11 o'clock on the patio for 12 people. And I was like, yeah. And you could see it like in their face. They were like, oh my God, like we just saw people out there. And I was like, listen, as long as we're together, we don't care. Put us inside, it's fine. So they actually ended up just pulling a bunch of tables together. The best service I've probably ever had. They got our food out so freaking fast. Now, they are a brunch place. I think they close at like 2.30. Um, and so a lot of people had cleared out. Like people came for breakfast. And so we were almost there at like a lunch hour, but we were there for brunch. And so the kitchen didn't have anything going on. So that was probably a lot of it, but like they got our food out to us in probably like 10 minutes after we ordered it. And everyone's food came out at once. And there were like 12 of us there or yeah, 10, of, 10 I don't know, 12 something someone was there that there weren't 14 i know that um but it was so much fun like everyone just had so much fun and we all ended up like wearing either pink or floral which was hilarious because it wasn't planned um and i just i've always kind of like said like the best memories are the ones that you like forget to pick up your phone and like yes i do think like i said in the last vlog like i think you should to some extent like pick up your phone and take pictures like i took pictures of the floral arrangements and stuff like that but i didn't vlog any of it because it was just we were having too much fun i didn't want to like stop and be like oh hold on everyone let me put a camera in your face but um we also got there and like immediately went into like decorate mode because we just had to like put the flowers out and put the little name plates out and um we were a little bit frazzled because of the change of like not getting the patio and stuff so it was just it was different um it was just not like kind of what we expected but it was so much fun. We went to Famous Toastery um, in Tiga K and it was just awesome. So I think now I'm going to work a little bit. I actually really need some coffee, but I gotta work a little bit. And then if I can't, if I can't boost my energy, we're gonna have to go like pick up a coffee because the coffee was so tiny that like even I've dwindled down my caffeine use and this was like, it was like a quarter of a cup. <laughs> it was so tiny. Kind of the next update and i'm not quite sure when i'll be able to update you guys again but hopefully my husband will be here soon i miss him we spend so much time together because we both work from home and so when we're like not together for hours at a time we're like what are we supposed to do like he's my best friend what am i supposed to do without him i don't know okay so i'll show you guys some of the venue it's wedding day not crazy about my hair it's fine it's fine it's okay not gonna call no, this is water I'm holding in my hand. Uh, she wanted me to get some clips of the wedding. What? I know. Like Thank you, mommy. <laughs> she wanted me to get some clips. So I'm sure. Well, Amber, at least it's not 112. We're gonna pass y'all. It's nice out here. It is. It, it's gonna get a little, you know, when the sun goes down, it might be a little. We need to put those flowers out and give Marianne those rose petals. We can't forget about that. Like, she, she won't forget. Marianne, don't forget. I just feel weird walking around this road. I'm so. Okay, so what I was saying, I was inside. I don't love my hair. It's not a huge deal. It looks fine now because it's fallen a little bit. It was so poofy. It looked like I was like 40. <laughs> like it was not good, but it's fallen a little bit. Um, I don't even care. It doesn't matter. It's just hair. It's, I mean, it's, and it's my hair. I'm not the bride. Kayla's hair looks beautiful. Kayla looks beautiful. Everything has gone, has it not, so smoothly. We it's have been a, a wonderful whole weekend. Robes on. Yeah, it's been. This has been like amazing. So let me show you guys. 
This is where we had the rehearsal dinner last night. It's like humongous. There were tables out here. So I think this is where the, uh, what's it called, cocktail hour is gonna be. And I'll show you guys the ceremony area in a second, but the barn's up there. We are at Tipsy Goat Estate in Rock Hill. Mama, don't let me forget to put my lip stuff on. So I thought it wasn't in my purse, but it must be because I don't have it. Okay, well I have a lot of lip colors, like multiple, and so does, so does Kayla, so. All right, but let's go look at the reception area real quick. Okay, so we don't have everything set up out here, but they have the cornhole, the Jenga. This will be the bar. And then, when you come inside, look at this gorgeous chandelier. Like, look at that, how pretty. So over here, that's where all the food's gonna be. This is the table for the bridal party. Then this will go on the arch. God, these flowers are gorgeous. Show you guys close up. She got these off Etsy. Same place. And then all the tables are like. Well, not all of them, but they're like, I think there's three different layouts. So they've got this one and all the candles will be lit. Got menu, little goodie bag. Goody bag. Oh. The food on the yeah, the napkins look fabulous. These centerpieces are so pretty. You got a box here. It looks gorgeous. So she did get hydrangeas. I love that horizontal. And pack. then Kayla and Daniel made the this. Kayla and Daniel made this over here. So like last night they were blowing these up. They blew this up, put this on here and the PVC pipe. They like made that and spray painted it. So it's really beautiful. Like I, I can't get over this chandelier. All right. So let's go look at the ceremony area and then we'll head back inside and just hang out. Groomsmen are up there getting ready. Hey, look at daddy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see him, but my dad just peeked out. <laughs> look at this little fairy tale down here. Hold on. These, sh these stairs are dangerous. See, I didn't get to do this for my wedding. I didn't get to like walk around and look at everything. Look how beautiful. And then they're gonna put flowers on it. And then the groomsmen are up there. And my husband. My husband's up there. Oh God, they're loud. Okay, so we're still setting up. And we gotta get um, the flowers. But it looks so pretty. And we're using the bridal luncheon flowers throughout. I mean, they're just so pretty. And then. We won't because I'll put that base somewhere we can. Okay. Remember to get yours. Does that make sense? Sunroom. Yeah. Jeez, is that a little pencil off here? It, no, it's a herd of elephants. <laughs> so we went to the reception area. It it's stunning. stunning. Yay. 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 Oh my god, I forgot to bring that to It's okay, I got plenty of footage. Thanks, Jenny. So, we've got dresses over here. They have Kayla's dress. That's her mom's. This place is so pretty. Let me show you the toilet. So the toilet is heated. It's like one of those that's like real fancy. Um, it's got a bidet and stuff in it. So like as soon as you sit down on it, it's like heated. It's amazing. I think another part of my hair came undone. The toilet is the most exciting part. I've been giving a quick tour and I just needed to give the toilet its own moment, you know? So it's like, see, it's like heated. Look at this. Like it's fancy. It's real fancy. So. All right.
and we're home. I did not vlog any of the wedding last night. That was a choice. <laughs> One, because like I said, like I, some of the best moments in life are the ones that you like don't have time to pick up your camera and film in and it was literally one of the most gorgeous days weather wise family was surrounding us friends were there the wedding ceremony was so gorgeous i cried the i sobbed the entire time my brother sobbed the whole time kayla cried um it was like something out of a fairy tale it, i mean it was just stunning she sang her vows to him and played her guitar it was so so beautiful that girl can play instruments like nobody's business um the reception was so much fun we danced all night my feet did not fit in my shoes this morning those chloe shoes of mine that are really comfortable i literally couldn't get my feet all the way in them because my feet were so swollen him and kayla are on their way to california um they wanted to just cross that off their bucket list so they're going there they left this morning very early i think their flight was leaving at like seven something um i didn't record specifically because everyone drank a little bit too much last night <sighs> my head is very angry at me today so it was fun but i am home now i've got all kinds of stuff to clean up um they gave us leftover flowers like they gave me like a whole they literally looked at me. We, we had like 10 minutes left, so we had to be out. And they were like, people have to take these flowers. Like the venue won't take these flowers. Someone take these flowers. And I was like, I'll take them. And so I took one of the pieces that they put on the arch. So it was humongous. And I was like, okay, I can do something with some of these flowers. I was able to pull off so many flowers. So I have like four, one, two, three, four, five, five floral arrangements in my house right now. Two that are just straight hydrangeas. One I redid of the hydrangea and roses, one just roses, and another one that's like peonies, roses, a couple other flowers I can't remember the name of. Um, so this is it for the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so dead tired. We will be back to our regular schedule now this week. <sighs> I just need to go sleep. I need to wash my hair that has not been washed in like five days. And thank you guys for watching.